Yeah, welcome back to Stormworks Basics tutorial. So uh, this was a request from somebody to have a panel um, throttle tutorial. So we're going to quickly go ahead and do that. So we will start with a panel. And so this is using um, arrow buttons to be able to control a throttle with a panel. So go ahead and we're going to start with a panel. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I have a uh, microcontroller I just call blank so I can use that. I'm just going to use that and stick that on there. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll configure the panel. So instrument one here, we're going to make a, an arrow button. We're going to have that facing up. And I'll just do throttle plus. It's going to be a push. It'll be channel one. All right, channel three is going to be throttle minus. It's going to be an arrow button. It'll be pointing down. It'll be push. And that will be channel three. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick and easy gauge. Oh, um, We'll just do throttle plus here as well. I'm just going to make this a gauge a vertical. I want the value to be from 0 to 1. That will be channel 2. And then over here, channel 4, we'll do throttle negative. Do another gauge uh, vertical. Minimum value is going to be um, negative 1. Maximum value is going to be 0. That will be channel 4. So if we look at it here, as you can see, we have uh, the gauge. This is just going to show where our throttle is. And we'll be able to see with the line where our throttle is. So pretty pretty quick and simple. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do paint, additive paint. Go ahead and I'll do green for a throttle up. I'll do uh, an orange, or I'll do this orange for down. And I'll just color my gauges green to make them a little bit easier to see. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get in the microcontroller. So. First thing I'll do is I'm just going to name it. Let's do panel throttle tutorial. All right, so what we're going to need here is uh, we're going to need three um, nodes. And so we're going to start with um, composite input. That's going to come from our panel. Then we want to do a composite output that's going to go back to our panel to read to the gauges. And then we need one more. This is going to be the number output that's going to actually give us the value. And that way we can hook it into whatever we want to hook it into. All right, so that's throttle output. All right, so let's go ahead and go in here. And yeah, let's start setting them up here. So throttle output. Uh, panel can go over here for now and let's start with this panel. So what we want to use is an up-down counter. So we're going to go to the up-down counter here and I'll click on it. We'll see what we have here. So increments telling us for every push how much we get. So we have a range of one to negative one. So I don't, or we're, you know, we're going to have a range of one to negative one. So I don't want to um, have an increment of one. What that would mean is every time I push the up arrow, it will go all the way, all the way to 100% throttle. If I press the down arrow once, it would then go back to zero, and then one more time ago, full throttle and reverse. So we don't want that. So what we want is we want to put an increment in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with point zero zero one. We can change this number to see uh, if it's if it's too fast or too slow to change up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to enable my clamp. I'm going to leave my reset value alone. I'm not going to touch the reset value. Uh, I'm going to make my minimum negative one. Make my positive, uh, my maximum one. All right, so next thing I need to do is I need to uh, read um, on off here. And so if we remember, our channels were 1 and 3 for our throttle. So I'll connect those up. This one will be 3. All right, and so the up is going to go, the, the positive throttle is going to go to up. The um, down throttle is going to go to down. Then we go to throttle read right here. All right, and then what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and I want to um, do a composite write number and I'm going to go ahead and it's going to be 2 so that will be actually one, 3 so we want to read I'm going to read to both gauges so this is going to read um, to our positive gauge and this is going to read to our negative gauge so we'll hook up to these two here and I'll move this so you can see the nodes all right, so let's go ahead and update this and see how it behaves. 
I'll also throw on a battery. And we'll go ahead and connect up the electricity. And then we want to connect our composite nodes. So as you see, we have two, so let's connect both nodes. And then I have my throttle node here. That will go out to whatever we want. So what I'll do here for now is I'm going to stick a dial on here. We already have a gauge here that will show us what our throttle is. This is where the um, this is where the throttle will connect to. So whatever you want to connect for your throttle, you could connect it there. So we'll connect that there, and then I'll hook that up to electricity as well. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to move it and spawn it. So we'll put this right next to the workbench so I don't have to walk too far to use it. All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and spawn it. All right, so now we see our, actually, let me do this too. Do a constant, constant on just so that we can uh, better see our gauges by doing the backlight. So right here, what we'll do is go to backlight on these two, and that way we can see them better. All right, so now, as you see, they're lit up. So if I press on this throttle positive, you can see my upper... Um, my upper gauge is moving up, showing, but it's moving kind of slow. So, you know, sometimes you want this really granular control. Say you have a jet um, and you go 500 knots. Um, it's good to have this granular control so that you can very um, precisely control your speed. Say you want to do air-to-air -air refueling. Um, but, you know, it might be too slow for you. So let's uh, go in there and we'll change this up. So let's go ahead and go in here, and let's go to the increment, and let's make it 10 times faster. So we'll delete a zero, that's 10 times faster. Let's see how it behaves now. All right, so let's go ahead and press positive, and you see how fast it moves. So we can see the dials move, and that's what we go out to the throttle. And as you see, I go down, and then that's showing me my throttle position in reverse. All right, so that's probably too fast. So Let's make a compromise, and we'll go and we'll do, um, we'll do half as fast as this, and twice as fast as it was. So zero five. So now this is right in between the two numbers, the initial number we had and the one we have here. So you can see this is much more reasonable. All right, so pretty quick and uh, pretty quick and easy. Now some other things you could do with this is. Um, you know, you don't have to set it to um, 1, negative 1. You know, you might be uh, controlling your RPS with a PID, and so you could have something like, say you want 10 RPS in reverse and 20 RPS forward. You could do that if you want, but we'll leave it as 1, negative 1 for now. So uh, just a quick and uh, simple little uh, throttle tutorial. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or any other suggestions, uh, make sure you put them in the comments. If you like the video, uh, give it a like. And if you have yet to subscribe to my content and you enjoy it, uh, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one.